Hi everyone, I'm Stephen and this is the Stephen Washington Experience and you and I are having a heart-mind moment. Let's take a breath together. Today's video is about self-care and spiritual practices. I just feel compelled to speak on that today because I, I know for me it's important that I take care of myself, um, my body, my mind, and my spirit uh, so that I can show up in the world um, and be the best possible Stephen that I can be. And I just really wanted to invite you to think about that for yourself, whatever that is. Um, there are lots of ways that one can take care of oneself in terms of a spiritual practice. Um, some people that's going to church, for others that's prayer, meditation, yoga, a walk in the forest, keeping a gratitude journal, um, sitting by your favorite window in the house and looking at the birds and the trees. I was doing that earlier today. I saw a little hummingbird up in the tree and, and uh, I just, mm, I loved it. But um, for my partner, uh, his one of his uh, things that he does for his spiritual practice is to sit in the hot tub and uh, watch this beautiful tree that we have in the backyard and just take all of that in. He loves being in the water. Uh, there is no wrong way to express and explore uh, yourself in terms of a spiritual practice or self-care, I think just the most important thing is that you do it. Um, there's so much in the world calling for us to be present and active and proactive and it's, I think it's easy to be caught up in the doing and not so much in the being. And uh, I don't know, I was, I was thinking today about a spiritual practice that's been developing for myself uh, this past few days and it kind of made me chuckle because I was in my car the other day and I for some reason Oprah Winfrey popped up into my head and I love Oprah and I've loved her for years and her show came to mind and I thought wow I haven't seen an episode of the Oprah Winfrey show in a long time and, and I watch her um, Super Soul Sunday and other things from her network today but something flashed in my mind about just how powerful that show was and how important it was and how good it would feel to watch an episode of that again and I did and it didn't disappoint me at all um, I think that episode that I saw the other day was with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. And, um, and it was a great thing to watch. I think one of the things that I took away from that episode was just how important that family is and how, uh, how much time and care they take in um, really lifting every person in that family up. Uh, that the children feel free to not be just what their parents want them to be, but for them to find out and express who they truly are. And I thought that was a really powerful message. And today, uh, the episode that I saw was about uh, a, a transgender woman who used to be a football star and was just this figure in, in, in her community of uh, perfection. And the episode just really looked at her journey into becoming who she is today, which is a, a woman uh, who is living a life that's full of integrity and authenticity. And just listening to her share her experience, strength, and hope was really powerful and healing. Um, I laughed to the episode, I cried, and I laughed some more. And, and that felt so good. And I've decided that if not every day, several times a week, I'm going to watch an episode of the Oprah Winfrey show because that's going to be, and that is something that's 
going to help me nourish my soul and um, make me feel good. Um, so I encourage you to find something if you don't already have a spiritual practice or a, a regimen that you use and do to take care of yourself to, to think about that. Um, there's so much in the world that pulls us out of ourselves and we really have to continue to work to fill this well so that we have something to give. Take care of yourself so that you can take care of your family. And once you've taken care of your family, you'll have an impact on your community. And then the work that you do in your community will have an impact on what's happening in your city and in your state and then in the nation and then in the world. But it all starts with you. So that's all I got for you today. Um, thanks for taking a heart-mind moment with me. And I wish you many blessings.